Welcome back Elite Video Marketers. Today we're talking all about transitions in video. What to do versus what not to do. Let's get into it. So transitions are a video editing technique that connect one shot to the next. Most of the time, editing softwares will come loaded with some pre-made transitions, but there are also lots of transitions out there on the internet that are available to download, depending on what style you like. Now, let's talk about the different styles of transitions. There can be as many bells and whistles as you want, or as little bells and whistles as you want. Most of the time, professional editors will stick to a simple cross dissolve or just a cut transition where nothing actually happens connecting one shot to the next. But there are some creative ways to stylistically jazz up your video without making your transitions too distracting. For instance, you can do a spin transition or a swipe transition. Glitch effects are pretty popular with tech YouTubers. You can fade to black or fade to white. One mark of a really inexperienced editor is when they use too many different transitions within one video. It makes the entire video feel a little scattered and the style is kind of all over the place. And just as a rule of thumb, good transitions are pretty subtle. They don't take away from the final product. They don't take away or distract from the quality of the video or the story that you're trying to get across. They are simply an assist to move you forward in the video itself. Good transitions, like I mentioned, are very subtle and they elevate the overall style of the video. Within your edit, I would stick to one to two transitions at the very most within a single video. Don't make them obnoxious, don't make them flashy. Sometimes that is necessary depending on the story that you're telling, but most of the time you wanna keep things very, very simple. Now let's talk about TikTok where transitions are actually the content of the video. They're not an assist, they're not a tool. They are literally the bulk of the content. One sign of an experienced TikTok creator is the ability to move seamlessly between clips using some sort of prop or motion. And one person who's really good at this is Anna Sitar. <laughs> Now, I know there's been a lot of worry and talk about the TikTok ban, but that doesn't mean short form vertical video is going away anytime soon, which means transitions as content are still going to be very, very much in style. If there's a trending audio on Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, use that, take it as your chance to play around with some different transitions, show a before and after, show some sort of transformation. This works specifically well in vertical video because the videos are so short. You can get away with making transitions if the content is four seconds long. In YouTube videos or longer form content, you really want to keep the transitions very minimal. Overall, just be very aware of the nature of the platform when making these creative decisions. When you're editing short form versus long form content, you don't only have to think about the actual length of time that your video is. You also have to think about the editing techniques you use and why you choose to use them in the short versus long form. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I know you would love my newsletter. It drops every single Friday. It's called Elite Video Marketing. You can check that out right here or just click the link below. And in the meantime, have an elite week and I'll catch you in the next video.